How's it going everybody? I am DMGTO and today we're going to be looking at the ELC Even Nike. Now this is actually a vehicle that was actually gifted to me by Homicidal B and Water Tanks or Bass Shop Shop on YouTube. So thanks very much for that. This tank is actually a lot of fun to play. But I will acknowledge I am not the best light tank driver. I am good at the hit and run tactics which I'm going to be used which which I'm going to be using in this game. But light tank driving itself, it's something I really need to work harder on and try and get better at it because if I'm honest, my skill on light tanks is kind of non-existent. Like, it's it's nowhere near the level it should be for the amount of games I've played. So I'm going to have to start like working on it a bit harder, and I've got a few premiums now to practice in, so hopefully I'll be able to get a bit better. Now, you might notice there that Sixth Sense didn't make a noise there whenever I, whenever I get spotted. So, that's something that's going to be persistent throughout this entire replay. And you're going to see the king of map spammers in the chat. It is the worst map spamming I have ever seen in my life. Like. I have said that before, but this is the new king of map spammers. It is ridiculous. You're going to see it, and you're going to be just as annoyed as me. I tried to record this before, and I actually genuinely got uh, got angry and just like just stopped the recording and started again. Just turned off the sound for that particular for that particular um, like part of the sound system in the game. So I'm just moving around the map, trying to like look for opportunities, which is pretty much what you have to do in this tank. It's a very good little assassin tank that's good at jumping in. Whenever somebody has about 600 health, finish them off and then run away. Like, that's what this tank is good at. And bizarrely, this is actually a very good map for that sort of playstyle whenever the enemy team is spread out. If the enemy team isn't spread out, it's very difficult to use this playstyle. But whenever they are spread out, it's actually reasonably easy to, to take advantage of, of this sort of like playstyle. And Black Prince looked directly at me there for a split second and then just immediately turned up further around. And I went for an engine shot there to see if I could get a fire. But unfortunately, fire tonight. I'm going to start heading up the hill here because I'm trying to see what the best options are for me right now. Because I'm thinking, like, hmm, will the hill give me more opportunities? There's one T3045M that we can see right now. He is a one clip for me. So I'm thinking, like, hmm, should I go and fight this guy? Is it worth the health that I will lose? Because he can get he can get his gun loaded. I think like four and a half seconds. So is it worth the damage that I'm going to take over around this corner? And as soon as I see the easy hit, I'm just like. No, this is not worth it in the slightest. And I just kind of decided to turn around and start heading down towards where the Tiger 2 is spotted on the map. So here you can see he's getting overrun by a bunch of different vehicles, all rushing them at the same time. I'm going to head down towards that in order to try and uh, help out the team and try and like, do some chip damage on some of the enemy vehicles. So the Black Prince and T3045 are heading directly towards that. More on that T3045 later on because that guy is pretty much the one who... like. I did pretty well in this game, I'm pretty proud of the way I played in this game, but that guy for a tier 6 in a tier 8 game, the result he gets is pretty exceptional. So Tiger 2 is pinging the map where I am, I'm just looking for an opportunity to rush around the corner and kill kill something and just remove something from the game. Uh, I see this T43, I see he's moving forward and we're just looking for an opportunity to kill him off. I get as close as I can and yeah that first shot missed because I was confident that was going to hit, but that's something you need to learn in this tank. Firing on the move at any range other than point blank will miss. It's just one of the facts with this tank. Like look at how much the aiming rifle covered that tank in order to in order for me to actually fire that shot off. And that's one of the things with this thing's gun. Like this thing is not really made to use its gun all the time. It's more of a spotter than anything else. But sometimes you're in situations like this here where spotting isn't really an option, so you have to use the gun. And you have to try and make the best with what you have. So the gun, it's Okay, it does 220 alpha, 175 pen, but the reload on this gun, with a reload like this, this thing should really have like a like a four shot clip. Like the three shot clip this thing has with a 28.7 second reload is kind of ridiculous. I really do think they need to like uh, take another look at this thing, either increase the alpha to 240 and decrease the shell burst time and decrease the overall reloading time, or add an extra shell to the magazine. Now, here I'm against a T34, uh, not T34. Here I'm against an M4 Easy Hit. And Easy Hit's actually a pretty annoying target for me here because my accuracy is not good enough to consistently hit the weaknesses on top of that thing's turret. So I kind of just have to turn around and just kind of run away because I don't really want to fight that guy uh, whenever I'm not going to be loaded for like another 20 seconds. And that's like the main thing you have to think about continuously in this tank. You have to always be thinking about like when when am I going to be loaded, where can I get to by the time I'm loaded so that I can take advantage and potentially remove a tank from the game. And here I see the easy it is on very low health, 
And I'm going to go in here to like, try and kill this guy because I'm trying to just catch him out. Catch him out while he's not really expecting it. And I just rush around the corner. He fires the Hellcat. First shot goes into Trex, which is kind of unfortunate. And then second shot finishes him off. And there's a T3045 again. And he's going to head on down that road. And I'm going to head off to the right uh, here at the second at this like, second gap in the uh, in the buildings. So, right now there is a tier 8, a tier 7 and a tier 6 on the enemy team. And we have a tier 8 and two tier 6s. The Hellcat is going to be fighting the, uh, fighting the IS. And the IS, for some reason, just decides to... Oh yeah, and by the way, if you haven't noticed, the map spammer started about 5 or 10 seconds ago. And that's going to continue for the majority of the game. That guy is ridiculous. That guy is a complete and utter spanner. And I blocked him in the in-game chat. But sadly, in replays, it shows it anyway, which is annoying. But the IS killed the Hellcat, which is kind of unfortunate. I was going around to try and kill this T3045M, who is prepared for me because I was spotted by him a couple seconds ago. I'm willing to take one hit from that guy in order to go around and just get the... Uh, the finishing blow on him. So I'm going to just race around the map here and try and just pick a direction to assault this IS from. Because the Amiga 1 has too much health for me to deal with right now. But I saw that the IS was at now around 600 health. So he is in one clip range of my gun. So I just need to look for an opportunity to try and rush him and get to close range where I don't have to aim my shots. Because if it comes down to aiming time, I will lose that fight. Because the IS it is Russian and it will likely hit its shots whereas I am French and well the, I'm in a French tank and it will unlikely hit its shots and you can see there are even the Hellcats telling the Tiger P to shut up but this guy is a complete nerd spawner, complete nerd tool and he's just going to keep doing that for the rest of the game I was honestly very tempted not to show this game because of this here but I thought like I thought like the way I played it was decent enough that I wanted to show it anyway but Jesus Christ what a dick um, so I'm going to rush towards his IS here the IS goes around the corner as he should have Although, personally, I would have tried to take a shot before going around the corner, because I can't mitigate the amount of shots he's actually able to get off in this fight. I rush right towards him here, and I use the handbrake to turn around quickly. And I'm actually heading out wide. I, I'm very lucky not to take a hit there. But I managed to finish off the IS and get him removed from the match. So I'm going to start heading around behind where the email, behind where the email one is. I'm taking like a longer route, just so that the email one... He's going to find it more difficult to guess where I'm going to come from, if I'm going to come from in front of him, or if I'm going to come from behind him. And, because I'm pretty sure I'm unspotted here, I want to just take the shortest route possible to get towards him. And the T3045 is doing a really good job here of just kiting this guy around the uh, water tower, and just stopping him from taking, uh, stopping him from finishing him off, pretty much. This is actually a really good move by the T3045, not trying to get shots in, because the autoloader would win that fight. So I just get to close range here and just start unloading my gun as quickly as I can. So I load three shots into him and T3045 rolls around the corner at the perfect time and finishes him off before before the email one even gets a chance to fire his gun. So that was really nicely done by that T3045 and I'd actually be interested to see this game from his perspective. I haven't actually like watched them off the entire time to see what exactly he does the, the, the entire game, but his result is incredible. Like he gets he gets like 2400 damage in a tier 6 in a tier 8 game. That's pretty freaking impressive. Like, I only managed just under 3000 damage by comparison. So that guy had a monster of a game. Like, really well played. I actually mentioned him saying like, well played man after after this uh, after this game because like, I'm not gonna lie, against an immediate 1 in a 1 on 1 fight, that is not a fight that's in my favor. Because even though the immediate 1 has a long cl in clip reload, it's got a lot more alpha damage, and I only has to get lucky twice, whereas I had to get a full clip into him. And you saw there, even though I got a full clip into him, it wasn't enough to finish him off. So, that, in that T3045 really did save that game there. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this of this video and of this game in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one.